Hi there, welcome to the Gardens and Graveyards channel. My name is Charisma and today we are in the garden and we're going to do a December garden tour at home. We live on the Oregon coast in a zone 9B now and we are in for another couple of weeks of heavy rains. So I wanted to get out here and get a tour in uh, before it's all sopping wet and uncomfortable to be out here and hard to see anything. So let's get um, walking around the garden and we'll see what's going on in December here on the Oregon coast. So we've already had a couple of days of frost, but we don't really get a killing frost here. You can see everything just still looks really green and beautiful. Um, certainly not uh, necessarily going to bloom anymore, but it won't really die back either. We will get periodic roses all winter long on all of our rose bushes, which is such a beautiful blessing for um, where we live. Let's just uh, move through here probably pretty quickly. Our Iberis is almost in full bloom and it pretty much blooms like this, not like a full, full coverage. Um, all through December and January and then come February and March, it is just like a solid uh, shrub of white. But it's really fun to have kind of like a sparkly white um, effect all winter. I still have some fall color on my burning bush. More roses in bloom over here. It was just like a sweet little blush colored bloom. Um, the Edgeworthia is continuing to drop its leaves and pretty soon the whole shrub will just be full of these buds and then it'll bloom in like February. So we'll just uh, kind of cruise on through here. Like I said, Iberis is giving me some sparkles. Nothing else is really blooming right now. We have a couple, we've planted some pansies and you'll see that in a video coming up pretty soon, but a few of them are blooming, which is kind of nice uh, this time of year. Nothing is really going on out here, everything looks kind of just a little bit dormant right now. So things like this Euonymus is really showing off this time of year because everything else is kind of quiet. So this beautiful variegation kind of pops. We do have some Scabiosa that, or no, this isn't Scabiosa. What is this? Augustifolia that is holding on to its blooms. And here we are the first week of December. And I've got Vermillionaire still holding on to its blooms, tons and tons and tons of blooms in here. You can see they're a little bit shriveled up and they're probably done for the season at this point. And then we also have some um, pineapple sage, again, finally finishing its blooms uh, for the season. But I just saw a hummingbird on here just this morning when I was washing dishes because my kitchen window is right there and I could see it really well. Um, the porch pots, as you can see, are holding their own. They've got um, violas and ornamental cabbage in them and they're, they're looking pretty good. They'll just kind of hang out there um, for the winter. Okay, so again, not really much going on up there. The pompous grass is starting to weigh down and I need to cut off the blooms at this point. Um, we'll pop on down here and see if there's anything really standing out. The St. John's wort, all of its berries are getting kind of dried up. Um, so 
I don't know. I think they'll probably turn on mushy once the rains really come hard. <laughs> uh, then the rest of the medicine garden, you could see the um, comfrey is kind of starting to melt in the cold. The nasturtiums got hit. It's time to pull them all out. You can see they're just kind of, they're done. This is what happens when they get really cold. They just get all shriveled up and so it's time to pull those out. But other than that, not a lot else going on. All right, then we'll just keep on cruising through here. The uh, impatience finally died. We can cut those back. We might be able to actually hang on to them for um, the winter and see if they'll come back for me. I'd like to see if that happens or not. Um, and then hydrangeas obviously looking great. Um, we need to cut come in and pull the crocosmia out for the season. Everything back here is fairly dormant. Um, still got a couple of little blooms hanging on to this limelight hydrangea here. You could see that most of them have uh, browned out died back. All right, we'll just keep cruising along. Um, I mean, you could see that living here, it's always just very, very green, no matter, no matter the season. So even if we don't have amazing blooms going on, it's still lovely because it's so green everywhere. We've certainly had a huge amount of birds recently, which has been really fun to watch. Um, time to tie back my raspberries. It's kind of just cruising along here. The nasturtium needs to be pulled out. The Hyacinth bean has grown so much this fall, which really confuses me. Like why, why does it grow in the fall? Is that when it's supposed to grow? I don't know. <laughs> uh, the Lenten roses aren't quite blooming yet, even though they will be very soon. Um, they're kind of like the Christmas rose, Linton rose. Uh, these we do have life. So it's just about time to pull these off of here, actually. Because they're, oops, they're starting to press up against the window on that side. These two haven't gotten that big yet. Spencer's little corner is finally starting to uh, show the effects of winter and fade. But I think we could just cut these back and they'll flush out in the spring. I know the barcopa will, I, this white plant, it will uh, flush back. I have a feeling this will as well. Um, not so much the snapdragons though. And then... We cleaned this up recently, which is lovely. And there's not much else going on. I do have some, uh, again, the impatience are finally done in here. You can see little remnants of them here. And you could see that the fuchsias put on the last few little buds, but they won't open because it's just too cold. Um, same with the snapdragons, a few little leftover buds. And then that's it for there. Everything else is kind of dormant and that's 
kind of normal, right? For, for this time of year. We often get lots of roses up on that rose shrub. You could, you could see that one right there. And it will just bloom sporadically all through the winter, which is lovely because these are our living room windows right here. And we'll be able to see them from the living room and enjoy them, which, uh, which we always do. So <laughs> that is going to do it for today's video. I know it's short and sweet, but uh, not a whole lot going on in December, obviously. Um, and I think that's probably pretty typical of most of our gardens. It's just a time to reflect on what a, what amazing year what an amazing year we've already had, and dream about the amazing year yet to come. And I hope that you're doing the same. I hope that you're celebrating your life, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.